When working on MTA, it is convenient to have a server for yourself. This can be set up in just a few steps with a few bonus tips. Install a code editor of choice. I use Notepad++. Head into the deathmatch folder in the MTA server directory. If you don't have a server directory, then you will need to install MTA and select the server modules. Edit local.config. Change allowed GTA 3.img mods from none to pets, and change FPS limit from 36 to 60. Start the MTA server executable. Start MTA. In server browser click, local, and join default server. This server can be accessed whenever your server console is active. Press F8 to open client console. Type, register, and then your name and a password to register your user. To make yourself admin, go back to the server deathmatch folder. Edit acl.xml. At the bottom of the admin bracket, add the name of your user. Let's create a new server resource to load mods on the server. In the server resources folder, create a new folder and name it models. Inside models, create two new text files. Name them replace.lua and meta.xml. Make sure the file extensions change. Edit replace.lua with notepad++. This is for a collision, texture, and DFF mod. Edit meta.xml with notepad++. If you coded this with your server open, you may have to type refresh or refresh all in server console. It will say models has failed to load due to missing files. This is because the server is looking for the three mod files that you added to your mod loader. Simply move your mods into your models folder and keep the file names the same as in your script. You can add multiple mods as long as you add the necessary code in your script.